the accounting equation. Once you've mastered the accounting equation, you are really very much on your way to understanding how accounting works and ultimately mastering accounting. Accounting is built around the accounting equation and the accounting equation is this, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. In other words, someone's equity in a business is represented by their assets less their liabilities. And that's a good way that we can reorganise the accounting equation. And we can reorganise the accounting equation by deducting liabilities from both sides. And we take liabilities over here. And then we get owner's equity equals assets minus liabilities. So let's see what causes owner's equity to change. So we need to consider how owner's equity comes about. And we'll look here at the owner's equity um, account. And we're here we're talking about the owner's equity capital account. And we'll say here's the capacity for the account. And there's nothing in it. So we have the um, opening balance and then we may introduce capital. So we have capital introduced. And that will increase the owner's equity. During the year, we may make sales. And so we have revenue. revenue. So we've got the owner's equity account has increased when we add capital and increased when we add revenue. But we also will have expenses. And that will reduce the owner's equity account. And we may also draw money out. And that would leave us with the owner's equity closing balance. And again, putting that back into the uh, terms of the accounting equation, that assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And there we can see how owner's equity comes about. So let's review. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And at the end of each year, owner's equity is summarised in the capital account. And the owner's equity, and here we're talking about the capital account of owner's equity, the closing balance of the capital account equals the opening balance plus capital introduced, less capital withdrawn, that's drawings, plus revenue minus expenses. And revenue minus expenses is profit. So, owner's equity capital account. Let's take some time to reflect upon that. The capital account of owner's equity is not updated after every single transaction. So instead, it is updated at the end of the year in a process called closing. In closing... And we'll talk much more about closing much later on. This is just a brief introduction. In closing, all of the temporary accounts, and we'll talk about those, are transferred into the capital account, which is a permanent account. And the temporary accounts are, let's see what the temporary accounts are. Well, temporary accounts of, of all as capital introduced, Revenue, expenses, and drawings. So these are the temporary accounts um, of accounting. They are also the accounts that uh, contribute to owner's equity, and they, it's where we record the changes in owner's equity transaction by transaction. So now let's look at what the permanent accounts are. And the permanent accounts are assets, liabilities, and the owner's equity capital account. Let's look at the accounting equation in terms of the financial statements, because the accounting equation also gives us the key financial statements. So we have the balance sheet, which is assets 
equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And that's where we get the name balance from. The total of our assets must balance with the total of the liabilities and the owner's equity. And remember, we can reorganise this so that owner's equity equals assets minus liabilities. Let's move now on to the income statement, also more often known as the profit and loss statement. And what's the income statement? Well, it's revenue, less expenses, gives us net profit. Thirdly, let's look at the statement of changes in owner's equity. And we have the opening balance of owner's equity, which at the moment that's zero, plus capital introduced, plus net profit, less, and net profit, remember, is revenue minus expenses, less any funds withdrawn, and that equals the owner's equity closing balance. So the, owner, the balance was zero at the start. Looks like our, pro, our drawings approximated our profit. So the owner's equity at the end comes up to be roughly equal to the capital we introduced in this case. But there's our statement of changes in owner's equity. So let's uh, talk now about normal balances. Normal balances, and this is where debits and credits come in. So back to the accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. equity. The normal balance of an asset is a debit and the normal balance of a liability is a credit and the normal balance of owner's equity is a credit. So what does this mean about normal balances? Let's just look at the debits. The normal balance of an asset is a debit. So that means we'd normally expect an asset account to be in a debit balance. And when we write a journal entry to increase an asset, it would be a debit. So we use a debit journal entry to increase the balance of an asset account. Now here's something that I should warn you about, because when you understand this, it will probably remove a lot of confusion for you. If you went now and picked up your bank statement, and you found you had money in your bank, it would say it was a credit balance. And so you would be thinking, hold on, cash at bank is an asset. Why is it showing me a credit when I know that assets are a debit? Well, yes, it should be shown as a debit on your bank statement. However, your bank statement is written from your bank's point of view. And so from their point of view, that money they owe to you is a liability to them. And hence, that's a debit. So let's look at normal balances of owner's equity. Anything that increases owner's equity is a credit. And we've established that. So owner's equity generally is a credit. Revenue increases owner's equity. It will be a credit. Any capital you introduce will be a credit. However, expenses reduce owner's equity. If you're spending money, they're reducing the equity in the business. So that's a debit. If money's been drawn out of the business, drawings, that reduces equity in the business, so that's a debit. Anything that causes owner's equity to fall is a debit. Anything that causes owner's equity to increase is a credit. Let's look at an example of the accounting equation. Let's say assets are $100 and liabilities are 60. What is your equity? Well, you know from the accounting equation that assets of $100 equals liabilities 60 
plus owner's equity must therefore be 40. So owner's equity in this circumstance is $40 because 100 equals 60 plus 40. Let's have a look at um, an exercise that's just a little bit more complex. So let's assume this, and you might even want to write these down on a separate piece of paper. A business starts with no equity, so I'm making that easy. The owner introduces capital into the business of $400, so capital introduced $400. During the year, the business made sales of $1,000 and had expenses of $700, so therefore the profit's going to be $300. And finally, they drew out $200. So what's the closing equity? Well, let's have a look at this. In terms of some graphs, where's that $500 comes from? Right, our owner's equity, nothing at the beginning. The owner introduced $400 into the business. Then during the year, a total of $1,000 sales were made. That takes it up to $1,400. But $700 worth of uh, expenses were incurred, which brings it back to $700. And then another $200 of drawings were taken out to leave, finally, equity of $500. So we know that total got up to $1,400, minus $700 is $700, minus $200 is $500. So the closing owner's equity is $500. So in conclusion, the material of the accounting equation is absolutely fundamental to your understanding accounting. So you might watch this a few times, but more likely go away, look at some other things, then come back and watch it again. Because if you haven't mastered it fully first time watching it, you may find that it makes more sense if you watch it again after you've learned a bit more. You need mastery over this to learn accounting easily. So invest the time to master what is in here. Do the quizzes to, to um, test your progress and come back and learn more. Thank you.